My fellow grammatarians, by now it should be abundantly clear that in a world filled with do-nothings, know-nothings, squeamish naysayers, apathetic kissers of the nearest rear end, and people grossly incapable of wielding even the simplest combat weapon, that I am the only viable 2020 presidential candidate. That's the good news. Now the bad. The future is horse pucky. For decades, I have battled graboids underground, underwater, and in the freezing cold tundra. I have grappled with shriekers and ass blasters in deserts, jungles, every terrestrial environment imaginable, but a new battleground lies ahead. Space. Oh, you heard me. Outer freaking space. Based on their past mutations, it is only a matter of time before these hell creatures wreak havoc in the extraterrestrial realm. God only knows what sort of hideous adaptations these monsters will undergo as they move through the vacuum of space, but I sure as hell won't sit idly by and let them lay claim to our solar system. Venus, Mercury, and Mars will be first, and if gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn are attacked, you might just as well kiss your anus goodbye. Now I am fully cognizant that one of the pillars of my campaign is to disband our armed forces and allow our rough-and-ready citizenry to defend themselves here on terra firma. Oh, but this is a whole new ballgame. We need space ships, space pods, space weapons, space armor, space camouflage, space MREs. Hell, I've got enough in my compound to get this ball rolling, and if you elect me your president in 2020, we will show these pre-Cambrian outlaws that America will protect what is ours, both here and in the skies above. Citizens, this concludes my presidential policy proposals. Election Day looms, and the choice is yours. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but remember this. Toot toot. Don't be a bummer. Vote for Gummer. Go, Gummertarians.